Drivers behind the lines, let's start our match in three, two, one, go. It's the autonomous period in match number 26. Adam Batsa moving into scoring position. Their partners up and across the charging station. And we have two of our three blue robots moving. We go into the tele-operated period with red ahead, 15 to three. Let's see what these alliances can do. The 245 machine grabs a cargo. Shooting for the upper node. Meanwhile, over on the blue alliance, Argonauts has a cube in their possession. They're going for the middle shelf. Meanwhile, their partners, 5527. Cyber Phoenix. Looks like they may be having some driveline issues. 6102. That's the Mustangs playing some pretty tough defense out in the middle of the field. As 5538 Viking bots also playing some defense and pushing some cargo over into the red community. Argonauts shoots over to their loading station so they can grab some cargo to make some scores. As do the Adam bots over on the red alliance as they're trying to pick up a cube. Their partners, 5193, Pantheon, attempts to grab a cube. Let's see if they can get that picked up as we get to 45 seconds left in this match. Red's continuing to pile on the lead. 5538 playing some defense against the Argonauts as they attempt to score again and see if they can get a link over on that blue alliance. It's close. The whistle means it's our end game where teams can hop up on that charging platform, balance it out, which is called engage, to get some extra end game points. Blue's got two robots up. Let's see if that's going to help even out the score as we get to our five second mark. Four, three, two, and one. with a score of 63 to 25. All right, and with that, let's meet the teams for the next match. Starting us off in the red alliance, we have team 2145. It's Hazmats from Lake Fenton, Michigan. 